everyone i know i'm super zoomed in but i just like the the look of that more so so you can just completely see from the beginning what's going on you know hold on there's like a shift that happens when i really zoom in and i just want you to get a very up close view of what my skin looks like before applying without me constantly having to like zoom in and like do it myself and um, I'm just setting you up closer from the beginning. And I think that's fine, right? Let me know if it bothers you or whatever. Today, we are going to be trying the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation in the shade 7.5. I actually used the shade match guesser whatever thingy um, on the website. So you just put in something that's already a match for you. So um, this was the shade that it, they came up with, 7.5. And I went in the store, I put six, 6.5, 7, 7.5, and then eight, but I knew eight was like gonna be way too dark. So that was never even really a contender. Um, and I tried them all on my skin and a lot of them were kind of a little too yellow for my liking. Um, and that's why I went lighter because at least it would just like cancel out the the tanned, really warm yellow tone. But this has been so hyped, right? This has been making people's number one, like best of 2022 list for foundation. So definitely I am curious and I'm excited and I'm crossing my fingers that are, it's amazing. Okay, I really am. I'm trying not to be biased because of that. But let's just go in. I'm gonna start off by doing the primer. This is my little sample of the Laura Mercier per Pure Canvas Primer that I would never buy the full size of, but it like serves its purpose. I do like that it's hydrating, um, but I don't think it like does anything amazing for me. I don't see many primers doing anything that amazing for me. So whenever a YouTuber is like, oh my God, this makes my makeup last so much longer. This is the best primer just goes like wah, 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 to my ears but who knows i'm sure there's like a life changing primer out there that i'm missing out on and it's really unfortunate so i will keep an open mind and whenever i get a new primer i'm gonna try it out i just don't go out and buy it on my own accord there we go how is it looking okay let's See, she's not even primed, you know, this is new. There it is. And that's what that looks like. Again, a little yellow for my liking. But the further I go up, it's kind of like a perfect match. But it's just down here. I think it's maybe because I just have a lot of red and like pale skin around the mouth for some reason, I don't know. But um, I'm just gonna, yeah. Plop this all over my face in my favorite way of applying foundation, which is just covering my whole face with the pump. I think it really makes the product go further. Um, and then I'm gonna hit it with a brush and a sponge so I can kind of compare which one I like a little better. So let's say brush on this side, sponge on this side. Okay, amazing. It's not hard to blend out at all. It's just fantastic because, you know, sometimes it takes me a little bit to really get the foundation on. I'm, it's not like a quick thing for me. And if it sets too quickly, I get upset. <laughs> cool, all right, we have a little breakout right here. So just trying to see how the coverage is, which is never fully there with a sponge, but it looks like it's doing something um, more than my expectations. Because I, I, I do hear it's more medium coverage. Okay, it's not like a full coverage doodad, but I'm sure we can see how it builds up if I need something more. Though typically I would just hit anything super bothersome with a concealer. On this product, it says to obviously use the brush that is a part of the Hourglass collection that should be used to apply this foundation, but I don't have that and I love this little brush even though it's like made for a bronzer it's so great it kind of reminds me i think of like the elf um, putty brush okay and there it is it's a it's a lot higher coverage than my my usual go-to which is the lisa aldridge seam skin even though it's also a medium coverage it's more buildable this one is right off the bat giving me a lot more more coverage for sure 
think I might go over just a few more spots, but if this was every day, I'd be happy with this. Look at that, even with a sponge, really nice. And then the first area for redness to come through is always around my nose. So I'm just gonna try and carefully really double up in that area and then pat it in with another brush. Which is if I really want good coverage, like you gotta use the brush, okay? That's the good thing about the sponge, it's like it helps you from overdoing it for those that are like slapping on the stuff. Blend this baby out. Cool, and so that's just the foundation. What do we think? I'm comparing the two sides, and unlike the Tom Ford, which I preferred with the sponge, there's nothing, I don't know, there's nothing outright making me think one is worse or better than the over other, to be honest. It does look definitely more sheer though, around my cheeks over here. You can see here. There we go. I can just see more of my pigmentation coming through on my cheeks over here than I can over here. You can definitely just see more of like a continuous um, layering of the product, more consistent. So they did say to apply it with a brush, right? This one is a little more sheer than the Tom Ford one, which is so interesting because I want to say the Tom Ford one is more liquidy, like the foundation itself. But this has a little thicker consistency, but it's not. When I put it on my face and I was just blending it out, like it was almost like water. Okay, if that makes sense. It was just like bloop. So that was something new, I will say. It's one of the fastest applications I've ever done for a foundation. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup, come back, show you what that looks like, and then we're just gonna see how it goes throughout the day um, and see if my products last on my face and also just like how is it gonna wear on my skin if you saw my last foundation review i keep saying the tom ford one okay they're just both high price point um luxurious foundations so that's why i'm comparing them and it's just really recent because i was a little blown away by the tom ford foundation because it at the end of the day did not settle and just like instead of sitting evenly on the surface it kind of step you know a lot of foundations separate and they kind of just form little puddles and concentrate on the divots any divot that there could be on my face that's just how it is that's how it moves but the Tom Ford one it did not and that's I want to say that's like a first for me like it's always been a little varying degree of it happening with many foundations so really excited to try this out and um, hopefully see if it does the same thing we're gonna see Okay, here is what we have so far. Let me just zoom in. This is pre-powdering. I'm just gonna spray my face. So that's how the blush looks like. I did a little bit of contouring, but nothing crazy. And it seems like it's all sitting on my face really nicely. And instead of a soft matte, I just wanted to point out that the finish gave me more... Well, what do you think? It's a little bit of a glow, right? Maybe it's my own oils peeking through, but I just put it on. I think it's a little more... It's giving me more satin. Okay, glad they're not saying hard matte. Soft matte is... Then you can get away with it. It is technically, I guess, a little more soft matte, but more, more satin. And that's my preference. I love a skin-like finish. Don't want dewy. No, 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 no. Prefer matte over dewy. But satin, that's a beautiful, like, more natural... Like you're not a piece of cement caked up piece of thing so i like it but i am going to take it down a little bit because my natural oils will bring it back up pronto pronto with some powder but first i'm doing setting spray and then i'm gonna set the setting spray with some powder it's gonna be crazy and i think it's sitting on top of and spreading into my pores and my acne scores wonderfully without any extra hard work okay not me like that's why the sponge is good. Sometimes you gotta wet it and really shear it out a little more so that the product doesn't like apply too strongly inside of an indent and then like shear out on the top of the ridge. And then it's just like, okay, cool. Thanks for pointing out my pores. But this is evenly going across. Love that. As if my skin was not a cobblestone pathway. So let's spray. 
Also, I know that I rip on myself a lot, guys, and I get a lot of comments saying that like I'm breaking people's heart, and I'm a beautiful woman, and I should be more confident, and you know, it's like making them impressed and stuff. I promise you, I am the most confident person on this planet with my skin, <laughs> okay? Um, well, I'm sure that's not like completely true, but it's, it's we're way past that, okay? Whenever I make those comments and stuff, I promise you that I am so not sad about it. I'm like joking about it because I can um, and I'm comfortable with it. So if I say like, oh, I'm disgusting, blah, 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 blah. Let me do that. I need to humble myself because of how high and beautiful I think I am. And so so you got to let me do it. Okay, don't, don't fight the fire with the water. You need to fight the fire with more fire and call me ugly too and be like, you're right. You're nasty nasty because anything beyond that complimenting me like you're gonna the whole forest is gonna burn down if you do that okay because i'm gonna be like oh my god yes i know <laughs> so please let me be mean to myself i'm not being mean i promise i promise i'm not like truly believing my words and later on i'm gonna regret them in my life no i'm going to laugh and be like oh my god i'm so funny that's it just wanted to say that thank you i, though I, I know everyone's you know having good intentions with that so it's not like I'm, I'm upset or mad or anything okay i'm just like i feel bad that i'm making you guys feel bad because of what i'm saying like i'm sorry okay <laughs> But please, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. I am fine and I'm good. Okay, we're gonna put some powder on my face. And this is the true test, okay? It's not gonna look, that it's gonna sit nicely on my skin and not look gross. By the way, on my lips, if you're curious, um, I'm wearing M Cosmetics Faded Clementine um, in the lip gloss. I kinda wish I got the lipstick, to be honest. I'm not a lip gloss girl. But I have it now, so I'm using it. Um, and on top of that, I blotted out a little bit with some tissue. Um, and then I put some Lawless Forget the Filler lip gloss. Because I had it, and I had no idea that it was like a highly rated product. So that just shows you how little into lip gloss I am. But it's like a plumper too. I feel a little bit of a tingle. And I saw Taylor Wynn put this on her like yearly favorite video. And I just saw it last night. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I have that. Is it really that good? I'm gonna try it out. Alrighty, we're here. That's it. Fingers crossed. What do you guys think? I really did that today. Okay, we're done. See you guys in four to five hours and then eight to nine hours depending on how on top of it I am. I have a lot of Christmas shopping to do. Peace. Full hours later. Here we are at the four hour mark and I'm going to zoom you in but I'm also trying to get this mirror open so I can look at it myself. That's pretty zoomed in. My oils are breaking through as promised. Not too terrible. I'm Mm. Okay, here's the problem though. Yeah, my oils are definitely breaking through. So I'm just gonna powder and then, maybe I'll just powder half of my face, I don't know. But because like with every foundation, I'm doing that. So I think it's just to be fair that I powder because I would not not powder regularly. Are we noticing any moving? Yeah, it looks like the sides are still matte it's my oily you know t zone cheek zone chin zone everything just in the center so that's per usual however blush blush everything's still there okay we're working we're working all right so at least it, it passed the minimum bar at the moment okay it's lasting the four hours that's good to see god i'm like really zoomed in now oh my god my lips look disgusting a lot of the time my blush would disappear uh, by now so we're still good i'm really excited about that let me just powder up really quickly and then i'll be right back and boom 30 seconds later and we are looking back to my definition of flawless hello just wanted to give you a heads up though the four hours 
usually when I do these things, I'm at home, um, I go to work in an AC office, something along those lines, all right? Or, or I'll take a short walk to get a coffee or what have you. I was shopping for the four hours. Like I just got home. So video ended, I left, came back. And it was not in a beautiful AC mall, okay? It was an outdoor mall. So I was walking around, trudging along, almost 80 degree weather. Uh, and so if, it, if I looked a little more oily than usual, like it could have been way worse. It could have been way worse for the, given the circumstances. Less than 30 seconds later again, powdered, we're back. Looking good. I'm liking it. What do you, what do you guys think? Cause I, I took you really in, right? And I've been looking at it myself. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at it really closely, um, closer than anybody would dare get to me. And it's still okay. It's still good, right? There's no transferring. The blush that I'm putting on is on. A little bit of the contour is still on. Area around my nose is still okay, surprisingly. I'm still not noticing the, that dreaded pilling. I don't even know what to call it. The pilling, okay, I'm just gonna call it pilling, of foundation in my, my scars and pores. Not noticing that yet. Yeah. So we're gonna check back in in four hours and get, I'll give you my final thoughts, but thankfully it looks like the money is not of waste yet. Ah. Hello, hello. And now it's officially been eight hours later of wonderful wear. Me getting to know Hourglass as a foundation, okay? And here are the results. Now, let me know what you think just from right now before I say anything from afar, okay? Just let me know what you think. Because that's what uh, in everyday life it's gonna come down to. Just no one's gonna be like, boom. They're gonna be like, that if anything and that's also already kind of kind of close so that's as you, as you can see you can still see the blush sitting atop my face there is shine coming through more so and i did not do anything crazy in the last four hours i was home i was laying down i was chilling so yeah i'm seeing more shine coming through so I just double checked, it's about $58 for this Ambient Soft Glow Foundation and the, and the Tom Ford one currently is about $89. So let's just round it up to 60, let's round it up to 90. And you're looking at a pretty much almost like a $30 difference between the two. You could get another foundation for that price difference. And for the price, I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give if I'm comparing the, the Tom Ford, I liked a little better because the oils didn't come through as much. If you look around my nose, again, who the hell is gonna come this close? And I don't know if you can see it on camera very well, but there is like a separation around the nostrils and it's like bunching up inside of there. But like, if I just do this, you know, we're, we're all good. So is that really a problem? I don't know, I'm just being picky. So on top of the grease factor of course the ambient soft glow is still better better price so it wins in that regard and it still i think looks very great overall again i would just have to powder again so i would do that in a, in a bathroom and i don't think that's too much to ask for i don't think that's too difficult but if i'm already going to be spending 60 dollars like then yeah i'm gonna spend the extra 30 dollars to touch up maybe a little less and also not have to worry about it sliding so much because the grease is coming through. But despite that, my blush is staying on. That's really impressive. Usually things that are going on top of the foundations, if they're not that good, no matter how much spray I use, no matter what primer I use, no matter what powder I'm using to set it all with, um, it doesn't matter. The, found, the blush will just like disappear, but it's still here. I think I still have a beautiful, like, overall meshy look. And that thing that I was talking about, like, with pilling, um, and I don't believe that's the right word, okay? But I don't, I don't see it as much. I don't see it as much, but I still see it. Okay, I'm so sorry, I really do, I do see it. And that's why I wanted to test out this foundation because I have a bit more texture than the average person 
So I'm gonna notice when, and I hope it's coming off on the camera because I can see it in the mirror. Um, I can see the product settling inside of the pores, like definitely around here. Okay, I hope you can see it, but it's so close. And that's me being nitpicky. It's not huge. It's on the range of things. It's very slight, okay? It's very slight. And only the Tom Ford foundation has been a little better for my skin type. I'm telling you, um, the ease of putting this on, that was easier than the Tom Ford foundation. And um, it almost like melted on. And I was super confident wearing this, like even when the sun was bla uh, blaring down on my face, which really emphasizes the shadows uh, that the textures create on my face. Um, I was walking around, I was super confident and I was happy and I felt like a million bucks wearing this foundation. And I still think I look really great. It's, it's kind of shaking my core belief system because I use, and if you can see from um, some of my videos, I use a lot of drugstore foundations and I'm like, I'm getting by every day with this. I think it looks good. And I don't believe you need to spend so much on a foundation. And that's still true, but wow, you kind of get what you pay for with at least this foundation. I'm not dealing with as much troubles at the end of the day. Like, I, I think I look like a human being with human skin, not like a gremlin. I'm glad I tried it out because I'd be curious all the time if I didn't. And I will use it up because it's a quality foundation. They were not lying. Even the people with the smooth skin, okay? I don't always believe them, but they were not lying. And I'm glad I was able to try it out so that Anybody debating this, whether you have maybe more fine lines or also have acne scarring as I do, you can you can just see what it looks like now. And you can see whether or not it suits what you would like. That's a birthmark, by the way. Just recently discovered. This is a dry patch of skin. Okay, I don't expect that to work miracles on that. So here's at the end of eight hours. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you in some way and catch you later. Yeah, let me know what you think about this one if you've tried it out and also have acne scars. Thank you so much. I'll catch you later. Peace.